Well, good morning, good day, hello everybody, Captain Marty here on Thursday, October the 24th, heading into the weekend. I had a little bit of stuff going on, and I'll be back to tell you what some of that was in just a moment. When it comes to general maintenance or major modifications on your diesel vehicle, look no further than Juan G's Off-Road Diesel Performance and Kill Devil Hills. Master mechanic Ryan Walker developed the plan for having his own auto shop over 20 years ago, and today he owns the premium diesel performance powerhouse of the Outer Banks. To have him and his crew take a look under your hood, give him a call today at 252-715-0025 or find them on social media. Juan G's Off-Road Diesel Performance, the diesel performance powerhouse of the Outer Banks. Hey y'all, Captain Marty here to tell you that when my friends are in the market for a new boat engine, repair, or repower, I send them to the best in the business, and that's at Radcliffe Marine in Bellhaven. Radcliffe Marine is your official Honda outboard dealer. Honda motors are designed to get you on the water fast and get you back to the dock safely and quickly. Radcliffe Marine is best known as the largest repower center in North Carolina. So when you're in the market for a new motor or you need your Honda service, go to Radcliffe Marine, 865 Highway 264 Bellhaven. So we did have some offshore fishing yesterday. Boats down in Hatteras caught uh, a few blackfin tunas, a few dolphins, a few king mackerel. I mean, as you can tell, we don't have those great big fishing reports like we did, but the guys and girls are still scrapping out some good catches. Up to Oregon Inlet, it was some, I talked to Captain Dickie Harris on the Fantastic. It was more dolphin than anything. A few blackfin tunas. I think he had a dozen or more blackfins. And the dolphin I'm talking about, of course, are the mahi-mahi. But they uh, had a scatter. Both fleets have been catching a few wahoos. There's even been still a few white marlin left in the Oregon Inlet fleet. But everything uh, is a little different. The water. One of the problems is the water temperature is very cold and very green in areas like they're fishing 65 to 70 degree water and they would prefer the clear, bluer, Gulf Stream 75 degree water, I think would be better. So this should be prime time for yellowfin tuna, the 50 pound average fall staple tunas, the most popular of our tunas, and I would say the best eating as well. But it's just not happening. You gotta have the right conditions to hold the tuna. They're migratory, they move all over the Atlantic Ocean. So you gotta get everything, all your ducks have to be perfectly aligned to make that happen. Having said that, I expect it to be really good all the way through Thanksgiving and then some before we get into the bluefin tuna fishing a little bit after that. So that is what's happening with our offshore boats. They've been catching some stuff with the nearshore boats too. Uh, Oregon Island Fleet has had some ki- a few kings, some ribbon fish, some bluefish, things of that nature. Captain Dickey also told me when he came in yesterday that the inlet was full of those two pound, which is kind of like a large tailor bluefish, but the birds were on them. They were everywhere and nobody, nobody fishing for them. So that's something if you're a boater and you're around the inlet, just be careful. If you get down there and you get outside the bridge, make sure you have plenty of anchor line. Make sure you have a, the right anchor with the right amount of chain on it and that you have enough chain and rope that the anchor will fetch, meaning that it will grab hold and catch the bottom. That's really, really important. So try to keep that in mind if you can. When the anchor gets down on the bottom, if it's pulling too far, if the shank of it is pulling straight up, it's just not gonna dig those blades into the sand. That's what the purpose of the chain is, is to weight the shank down and get the paddles of that anchor into the sand. So let's just say it's 50 feet of water. You need 100 feet of anchor line. and maybe six feet of chain and you'll be sure when you well, let me tell you because if that anchor doesn't grab and it's outgoing tide you're going to go right out across that bar and it could not be a good situation because you're liable not going to go right where the channel is you're going to end up over there in the break if you're not careful so that's my safety tip for the day for you surfing pier fishing still remains good with a mixture of drum sizes mostly red drum but they're catching them and it's uh there's a good bite going on so you might catch as you as we're getting a little bit more into things i'm seeing the drum are getting smaller a lot of yearlings and puppy drum but uh heck the puppy drum most of them are in the slot so at least you can take one home for dinner there's also other stuff going on a few speckled trout in the surf a few black drum there's some bluefish we've been talking about these two pound blues that's a little bit bigger than the one pound taylor blues really nice quality bluefish fresh really good to eat fillet them skin them eat them fresh and you can't go wrong by the way if you have a home smoker really in many 
uh, there really isn't a better fish that you can put in the smoker than a Taylor bluefish or even a big bluefish for that matter. So uh, this is the time to get down around the inlet. Uh, they're, they're catching them good. They're catching them back down to Hatteras Inlet too. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the backcountry report when I come back. Hi, I'm LB Daniels, and when you want great local seafood, you get a Fresh Cat Seafood and Wine Cheese. How do I know it's great? My daddy is one of the fishermen that brings it to the docks. At Fresh Cat Seafood, you will get local seafood right from their fish house. They are a family-owned business that knows the name of every fisherman that comes to their docks. Visit their social media pages to see the latest catches. My daddy would love to put his tuna on your dinner plate, so get it now from Fresh Catch Seafood and Wine Cheese. So in the backcountry, we're having a, a, a good bite on these Taylor bluefish, and some that are up to eight pounds, actually. So there again, if you got a smoker, that's a great fish to catch. We also are seeing some sheephead on the Bonner Bridge Pier, and also in just about anywhere you can find a little bit of structure. Uh, the sheephead bite has been good all summer, and it's still going on in the fall. They seem to have gotten a little smaller, but they're more plentiful. Um, sand fleas, filler crabs are the, their choice of bait. So that's something you might want to consider as well. And then there's lots of speckled trout and lots of smaller size drum now still back in the sound. So uh, not great fishing. And it's not those big drum we had earlier, or at least not the ones I heard about yesterday. Again, the slot size puppies are put one per person in, uh, in the cooler and take them home to eat. And then the sheephead, the bluefish, occasionally a black drum and a speckled trout it's a seafood platter for sure. So that is our fishing report here on, on this Thursday, and we'll keep you posted as we lean into the weekend. I uh, hope you get out. I hope you have a boat. If you don't, the best way to go fishing is, and the cheapest way is to offer a friend to pay for gas and go on his boat. A lot of these people have these boats, and they cost a lot of money. What they'd really like to have is someone to split the gas. So that's a really good way to learn and a really good way to afford to go fishing. So keep all that in mind. Be safe on the water and have a blessed day.